The individual that has to justify their existence by their own efforts is in an internal bondage to himself. And so when it comes to money, this is really, really important. More money will give you more choices, that's it. Hey Self Made Millionaire, it's Chris Duggan here and a real fast, short one today, but really potent. See, many people that I talk to have the wrong idea when it comes to creating a life they love. They're misguided and they believe that if they were to achieve a certain result, it would make them more valuable or more worthy, but they would never say that. But deep down, this is what's actually sitting in their consciousness. See, they have a negative vision. This idea literally locks them into a life of misery. And most of us that are well-intentioned have this. See, many people are in a very bad habit of judging themselves against how much they have done during the day, the week, or up to a certain point in their lives. They want to make this much money by the time they're 30 or 40 or 50. And they need to be married at this age or be in this way. They need to accomplish all these things. And they've tied their life value to their accomplishments and their accomplishments to their identity. And our society just bangs this into us. These accomplishments have a specific function in their lives, which is to justify their existence. So I matter because I've done this and I've got this house and this way and I'm married to this person, I've done this. It's like that they believe if they've done enough good things, then they deserve to live. But ironically, there's never enough good things to finally succeed to justify their existence. For some, this critical evaluation takes place at the end of a day, right? And some it's a week. Like, And, and they say to themselves, I did enough today, or I did that, and I'm good, and I'm, I'm valued because I did stuff. And this need to justify one's existence seems rational. However, it's actually based upon a set of assumptions. And, and the assumption is that you don't have any value unless you're achieving or unless you're helping or unless you're doing something. You don't have value as yourself. And so these people, if, if they find themselves you know, alone or without accomplishments, they, don't, they feel worthless. If they didn't have the, the, the label or the car or the this or the numbers after their name or the, or the letters in front of their name, then, then they're worthless. They need to, they need, and, and you see people project this. Their worth is tied to, to who they are and what they've done. And, and it's like they've tied their worth to these good deeds that they've offered the world. And, and if someone makes this assumption, they can never take pride in just doing a, a good job. Instead, they have this good deed bank account with their name on it and they want to add more and more and more to the ledger with this idea that the more that they've put in there, the better they are somehow. The second assumption that I see is no matter how many good deeds you've done in the past, it's never enough and need to continue ways of justifying your existence forever. And some people call this giving back and, and you know, they spiritually bypass or, or think it's a better way. At other times they call it paying it forward or uh, however built into these assumptions is a belief that one needs to be validated according to how much he or she has contributed to others or the world, you know, a life of contribution. And if you've had this or, or done this, me too, right? And we've adopted a myth and we've been fed from the time we're toddlers that we have a job in life and that is to achieve something of value. We're praised if we succeed and criticized if we fail. We take it personally. Success or failure takes on this different meaning. We're good or bad depending on the level of accomplishment, right? The myth can become so ingrained in us that it goes without saying and it becomes an invisible assumption. And what happens because of this myth is that people aren't able to follow their heart's true desires. And it's frowned upon if they just want to exist, to just be. And there's never enough to achieve or do. They must always be going and going and going and going. And the problem that many find, that I found, is that eventually you come to the conclusion that you already had it all. And instead of needing to be valid through helping others, you're already more valid than you could ever be. You, your life has already got all the meaning it ever needed. And if it's fun and enjoyable and meaningful to help others, then you just do it. But it doesn't change your value. See, many can find that there's a guilt if they're not helping or giving. And they simply feel this guilt that they haven't done enough. That How could they just simply rest? And so Eric Hoffer said this, the individual that has to justify their existence by their own efforts is in an internal bondage to himself. See, there's nothing you need to do to be more or less. You are already whole. And so when it comes to creating this setup, if I do this, then I'll be valid, leads people to a lot of dissatisfaction. If, if I do this, I'll be worthy. If I do this, I'll be good enough. If I do this, then others will think this. 
it becomes a real setup because it builds a lot of resentment because they go and help a lot of people and they're not getting the appreciation that they should get because they've they should get a lot of appreciation or they've done this and so so they're not just in the end result and that cause and then what happens is because they weren't just trying to get the end result they're actually trying to be valid or, or be seen as successful or seen as being the doing the right thing when that's not there they get annoyed and they give up and, and a lot of people have this problem is they go in these patterns of like giving and giving and giving and then oh didn't really make a difference so they break it break it break it then they go to giving and giving and giving and helping and then oh no one really cares didn't make a difference uh, no one's helping me and so it doesn't actually work so here's the antidote the antidote is to truly understand that you're whole now and that you are a super conscious creator right now and you are it you're you're as you're as valid as you'll ever be whatever you choose to create is just for fun if you, if you enjoy the feeling of helping others, you are selfishly helping others because you want to do it. I'll give you an example. Right now, I coach an under 18 basketball team. I'm doing it because I like it. It feels good to me. Sure, I'm impacting others. I'm helping them. I'm giving. I'm paying for their, their training court on a Sunday. I'm, I'm, I'm giving, right? But it's for me. I like the feeling of giving. Whether they thank me, praise me, feel good, that's that's that doesn't matter. It matters that I feel good about it. And so do you see that and see the truth in it? And so then I own the result. It's me. Is and, and you know, I help millions of people in magnetic mind and super conscious creation and we teach them that, but but it's for me. Like I feel good about doing it. I, I'm already valid. It's me feeling good. It's internal validation, not waiting for this external. And so when it comes to creating, is adopting this approach is going to make a big difference. It did for me for sure. When you believe you're separate from your creation, then you can enjoy creating it. When you think that you are the creation or the creation is going to make you different, you'll never receive it or fully have it. And so when it comes to money, this is really, really important. More money will give you more choices. That's it. You know, it can come, it can go. It doesn't change your value as a person. You might use it to help other people. But you're not more valuable than the other people. Just because you might give away $1,000 or $10,000 or a million dollars, you might give it away. You needed someone to give it away too to feel good. So you're not more valuable than anyone else. You're just doing a different thing. And so sit with this today. Really sit with this. Choose to feel completely whole now, regardless of how many people you help, or how much money you make or what you achieve. Feel whole now. And then ask the question, if I could do anything for fun, what would I do? And realize you're doing it for you. I hope that made a big difference. It was short, but it made a big difference to me. Uh, like and subscribe, share this out, leave a comment. I read all the comments. I appreciate you. I hope you're enjoying this podcast and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye for now.